Growing Frogs, written by Vivian French and illustrated by Allison Bartlett. Frogs are in danger. Please help. Rules for frog lovers. Don't ever take frog spawn from a pond in the wild. You should only take frog spawn from a man-made pond and, and only take a little. Always take your frogs back to the pond they came from. Once when I was little, my mom read me a story about a frog that grew bigger and bigger and bigger. Afterward, mom asked me if I'd like to watch some real frogs growing. I know where there's a pond with lots of frogs eggs in it, she said. We could bring some home. I was frightened. I don't want any frogs jumping around getting bigger and bigger and bigger, I said. But mom gave me a hug. It's only a story, she said. Even when our frogs are grown up, they'll still be smaller than my hand. Oh, I said. Okay. The next day, we went to look at the pond. The water was dark brown and there was gray jelly stuff floating on the top. Yuck, I said. There's the frog spawn, said Mom, as she pointed to the gray jelly stuff. I bet that was laid last Friday night. The frogs were croaking so loudly I couldn't get to sleep. Male frogs croak to attract female frogs for mating. Mating occurs when the male frog covers the female's eggs with his sperm. A tadpole will only grow if an egg joins with the sperm. This joining is called fertilization. You see the black dot in the middle of each jelly shell, said mom. That's going to grow into a tadpole. Where are the frogs, I asked. Tadpoles grow into frogs, she said. Little ones, no giant frogs here. Mom put some pond weed and some stones into a bag. She filled a bucket with pond water. Then I scooped a little of the frog spawn into it. Always use pond water for growing frogs at home. Tap water has chemicals like fluoride in it that might poison the frogs. When we got home, we put everything into a big fish tank in the kitchen. The cat kept peering at it, so we had to put a wire net over the top. I counted 27 little black dots. Each dot was inside its own jelly shell. The tank needs to be kept somewhere that's cool and away from direct sunlight. Every day when I woke up, I went straight downstairs to look at the frog spawn. The little dots grew into bigger dots and then into tiny curls. In a tank, eggs hatch into tadpoles about 10 days after they are laid. And one morning, I saw the first tadpole wiggling out of its jelly shell. At first, the tadpoles didn't do much. They just stayed close to their jelly shells and nibbled at the pond weed. But after two or three days, they looked quite different. There were feathery things on their heads and I could see their eyes. They swam very fast. The feathery things are called gills, and they're what underwater animals use for breathing. Ten of the eggs didn't hatch. The black dots went dull and cloudy, and Mom took them away. The main reason eggs don't hatch is that they aren't fertilized during mating. Then we cleaned out the tank and put in fresh pond weed and pond water. One of the tadpoles swam into my hand when I was putting a stone back. It was slippery and slithery, and it made me jump. After the tadpoles hatch, the pond water needs to be changed at least twice a week. After a while, I got used to having tadpoles and I didn't look at them so often. When mom told me their little feathery things had disappeared, I didn't believe her. But it was true. Tadpoles have gills on the outside of their bodies at first. Then they grow gills inside their bodies and the outside ones disappear. I was the one who saw the next change though. Look, I shouted, and Mom rushed to see. Some of the tadpoles had grown two little bumps. Mom said the bumps would grow into back legs. They grew very quickly. One day, there were two little bumps. The next day, the bumps were stumps. The day after that, they looked almost like real legs. And when the legs unfolded, they were webbed like tiny brownish-green fans. They aren't tadpoles anymore, I said. They're not quite frogs. The not quite frogs grew front legs next, and then their tails got shorter and their mouths got wider. Now they're frogs, Mom said, baby ones. 
Soon the baby frogs were popping up and gulping at the surface of the water. One of them tried to climb onto the stones, but it slid off. Mom said they were getting ready to leave the water. Grown-up frogs breathe air, she said. That's what the stones are for, so our frogs can climb out of the water and breathe. As tadpoles slowly turn into frogs, they grow lungs for breathing air and their gills disappear. Not long after that, Mom said it was time to take our baby frogs back to live in the pond with all the other baby frogs. I was sorry to leave them, but Mom said we could come back and visit every day. Baby frogs need space to grow and room to hop around. Grown up frogs live most of their lives on land, returning to their ponds only to breed. One rainy morning a week later, Mom woke me up very early. Hurry, she said, and we ran downstairs and out to the pond. There were hundreds of tiny frogs hopping over the grass. They're looking for dark, wet places to live, Mom said, but they won't go far, and in a couple of years, they'll be back to lay frog spawn on their own. Will they be bigger then, I asked. Just a little, said Mom. Good, I said. I like having frogs jumping around getting bigger and bigger and bigger. The end.